Look what I put! I keep dropping my crap. <laughs> So we made it into the train now. We are now heading to Venice, and yeah, it was so much of a struggle, guys. I had to carry twenty suitcases. It's a checkers suitcase, guys. You know, a checkers trolley in jail. You just know that when you take it this way, it goes that way. You take it that way, it goes that way. So that's what I was going through. So yeah, like my shoulders are so painful. It is a checkers suitcase. <laughs> arrived so we're gonna take a water taxi like that one over there and then head off to our hotel so yeah it's been one hell of a struggle to get here but we're officially in Venice Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you're returning thank you so much for coming back i hope if you're watching this one you've actually watched the first italy vlog so we've just arrived in venice as you guys can see from the first vlog to this one i am so tanned like it is crazy hot but we've just arrived at our hotel we're just gonna quickly shower and get some food to eat because it's literally seven and we haven't eaten all day but i just thought i'd do a quick room tour of our new hotel so i'm just gonna remove the light when you walk in it's like the door over there and it's so like it's an old hotel room that even the key room key is actually like a metal plate thing then you walk in and the first thing you see is the bathroom so it's pretty cute there's a bidet again which is very nice because it's accommodating to muslim people and then we've got our towels there we've got the um, hair dryer that's me that was my outfit I literally just wore shorts and uh, bodysuit and then yeah we've got like the normal um, things that you get at a hotel and then this is the shower it's quite weird so I'm guessing you pull like the door this way so it's like a pretty small shower and then we have the toilet over there so you can see that this was like renovated and stuff and then when you walk onto the outside it's literally like a restaurant down there, shops, there's a restaurant down there, there's shops down there. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty loud, so we're gonna have to close our door. And then you walk in. Hi, hey, Bo, are you waiting for me? 
<laughs> then we have Miss Gama there. I don't know why Ngati Vele, she was waiting for us like perfect waiting. moment. Too, too that time your outfit is even matching the bed. Show me, and I knew that's the <laughs> Free plan. Naturally. Naturally. Mm. And then yeah, this is the room guys. Um yeah, it's very ancient and also like this is like it feels very thick. So I don't know what's going on there. And then the sheets. Oh yeah, and then we only get to sleep with the sheet. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. 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 You then, can't expect me to give you a blanket in, in one day. In one day. And then also this is the same view. There's another restaurant here. Literally when you open, there's people eating down there. So yeah. I think the nice part is that when you actually close the windows, you can hardly hear them. But this is cute. Actually, yeah. it's really cute. Like It's just giving me claustrophobic vibes because I just feel like I'm stuck in here. But yeah guys, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm even lazy to go outside, hey? Like to dress Naturally. up and stuff. Naturally. But this is what it looks like. We've just put the air conditioning. There's a TV, air conditioning. Oh, to go. I need to go and there's fireworks. a little Oh yeah, so it must look nice, now. Maybe we're actually gonna find our future husbands here in Venice because Rome, wow. Naturally. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, yeah. I don't expect gonna... him to marry you in four days. <laughs> Like Davide, mm -hmm. if you watch Love Island, you get that. But y'all, yeah, guys, I'm gonna quickly just rest for a little bit and then go jump into the shower. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. I'm like so lost with the days, but I just wanted to put you guys on that this girl here is the girl that she thinks she is. Like, I've been using this literally every day I've been here, and like my makeup has been staying in place. I literally drenched my face in this and like my makeup lasts all day in the heat something that doesn't happen when I'm in South Africa so I don't know if this girl loves the European weather or what but if you're definitely traveling get yourself this and you're good to go guys literally so this is my makeup for today I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I'm wearing but I just need to put under eye mascara and then I'm done. Um, yeah, I'm actually on time because we plan to leave at 10 past 12 and it's currently 11.52. So I'm just gonna do that, put on my shoes, spray more perfume and then pack my bag. So yeah, super happy. So we are about to leave and this is my outfit so this dress is also from Sheen I'll try to leave all the links in the description box for you guys but I'll also be filming a try on haul so this is from Sheen this is what it looks like I've just paired it with these sandals that I got off Superb List and then my earrings are also Sheen so that's today's outfit and we are off and then also for this dress I wore it with a pair of like Spanx like that I got from Cotton On so that's why my waist looks small this ain't my waist guys but anyways ciao outside our hotel we literally have like stores there's a restaurant there but Tandy and I got pizza last night and I got her water the water she's drinking now she, she's not feeling well her face is even a little puffy ski skip all soon but that's what it looks like and we're matching colors how cute mm, again sick alive for the first time in the strong now because my immune system is very weak and it's going right up. Yeah. My foundation doesn't match anymore. Thank you. Put it on auto. Oh, oh okay. okay. So I'm going to film an auto. Oh, oh, yeah, it's too bright. Yeah, so I'm going to use um, AV for um, the scenery. Oh, okay. That's why I always, as you see me, I always sort of switch. Because I look so, I look like a ghost just now. No, no, So we just 
got these cute little umbrellas because wow the heat is just way too much so I'm quickly walking to the boat now um, and then we're going to Murano I think it's like a very colorful place it's cute I'll show sure you guys I'll show you guys when we get there guys so we're currently on what is this Maruno Maruno and then we're gonna go to Baruno the one with the no. colorful Murano ah, Murano Murano Burano Murano Burano what did I say Murano <laughs> yeah so we are currently at Murano right then we're gonna go to Burano so they just changed the M and the B but the other one has the colorful houses and that's where I want to take a photo I saw there's like a yellow house so I think it will look nice with orange um, but yeah it's very hot guys Yo. and like the wind is just messing with my eyes today so not really happy I'm definitely gonna have to do my makeup again later they always make these poses thin, mm. so, yeah, so this is what it looks like literally okay. whoopsie sorry <laughs> literally on water and i think they specialize in like things made out of glass like the little thing that you guys saw so literally like everything upstairs is made out of glass and then yeah it's just so hot guys like uncomfortably hot Yeah. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see me or not because the lighting is in the opposite direction that we've done with the other. What is it? Is it an island or what is it? Yeah, hey. Bruno. 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 whatever. But this one's got colorful houses. So, that's what it looks like. It was very hot and very difficult to vlog. So. So we're back 
Where are we now? Hi, we are in, Actually, back in Venice. Actually, to my vlog. Oh! Guys, this is Muso. So when you watch yourself, you better comment. I will comment. Hi everyone. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> he's the doctor on this trip because he's a pharmacist. Wow. So he's taking care of all of us. He's a bad doctor though. He ditched Tandy all day. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I feel I feel guilty, but I got lost. Pharmacists take an oath. Doctors take an oath. Yeah, right? we have the Hippocratic oath. Yes. So you take an oath. Yeah, we all. You take failed that today. Oath. I but she's better still alive. take it back. You she's fail. Still alive. You fail. I only fail when I'm she asking dies. him if pharmacists take an oath. Because you know doctors take an oath oh, yeah, to like yeah. take care of people and yeah, protect. Yeah. And yeah. This yeah. one, he ditched her the whole day. Yes. I only fail if they die. So. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she's still alive. That's the point. When, when did you check up on me in Murano and Murano? Did you know if I was on the boat? Uh, uh, tell I'm sure you guys left us behind. He went and did his own thing, and only after, now, when we come back, he's like, Are you okay? Oh, I, right, when I'll I'll they be, better take your, your license I'll back. Be, Whatever you guys get to practice, they better take it practice, back. They gotta take it back. Yes. Yes. But, anyways, guys, the back is hot. I'm going my umbrella because I am dying. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. We just ordered dinner and Tandy and I decided to have hamburgers and thank you. Yeah. Ketchup. She's having steak and it looks so good. You are having lasagna, it also looks good. So that's chicken. How many apples? He's having a bit Three apples, please. Who wanted that? One, two, three. Okay, three apples, just. Hey guys, so we finished dinner now. What time is it? Um, finished dinner now. It's half past seven. We're heading back to the hotel. I'm taking my sick patient back home, and then I've got a night doctor to come take care of her. <laughs> I've hired a night doctor that's gonna look after her because I'm going out. She's going on a date. I'm going on a date. <laughs> yes, I'm going on a date, guys. So that's why I've got someone to come and look after her. And then, yeah, I'll be back. Hopefully, she doesn't feel too sick when I'm not there. But. Summer in Europe is very nice because the sun sets very late, so you don't really feel it. You actually only feel it in the morning when it's time to actually wake up. Now. So this is where we got off yesterday when we got off the um, water taxi, and our hotel is not so far from here. So yeah. guys, how cute are these Celine shoes that Tandy saw and she wants? I feel like they're super super cute. So today is Monday, our last full day in Venice, and then we head off to Milan tomorrow. So we just quickly went to take Tandy some photos because she had a campaign that she has to shoot because the night never stops. So we're just walking back to drop off a couple of stuff and then we're gonna shop. And then we've got gondola ride at 7 p.m. So that is what we are gonna do. I'm lost. Literally missed the turn into the hotel, but yeah, the short Tandy's shoes are so loud. We shot Tandy's campaign. Now we're just gonna go shop. 
because apparently Salvatore Ferragamo. Tandy, did you release gas? No. Oh. I bought. Because <laughs> it was smelling. I bought. Yeah, did you gas? Which you know, apparently there's a 30% off there. So, we're going over there and then maybe try to get some food because I didn't eat much for breakfast. So yeah, as I was saying, we're going to go out and shop. But I'm basically wearing this outfit today. So this green top from Sheen and this skirt and I've just paired it up with sandals or oh, sandals to like show it to you guys properly on the outside but I'm also gonna spray and I'm spray again because wow it is so hot Hey guys, so we've just found a restaurant to sit at. So we're just gonna quickly have an apple spread and then have a think margarita pizza to share. And then we've got the gondola ride at 8 because it's still so hot. Oh my gosh, it's so uncomfortably hot. Guys, like, they keep staring at my boobies, but I don't care because they look cute. So, yeah. Show me a point then. Course, we are going to order an apparel spread because it is the drink for the summer and that is the view we've got gondolas on that side we've got Tanti Pana no no <laughs> I said no so we're having a margarita pizza <laughs> So we're having a margarita pizza that's what we've been enjoying it's a good guys i actually didn't show you my outfit properly so this is what it looks like we just got back from eating and we are changing because we have the gondola ride so i'm going to be changing out of this outfit and putting on a different one which i'll show you guys quickly and then just touch up a bit of the makeup and we are ready to go so i'm all changed and ready and this is the second outfit for the gondola so it's just like this written art two-piece outfit also from sheen one problem is that the top is a little bit big so like it's not holding my boobs very well so just have to keep pulling it up but yeah this is what it looks like Hey guys, so just quickly change. I think I showed you guys this. And we are now in the gondola, guys. And yeah, super, super excited. But a little bit scared because it keeps rocking over like different directions. What do you mean you are not fine? So yeah, that is what is happening over here. You guys can see that.
He's struggling to keep it stable because there's five of us on here and then he says when there's two people it's much more stable and we can like move around and help each other take either photos or reels which we wanted to do so I think we wanted to do it in the morning because we're definitely not going to be about that content. No. No. Not happening. Not happening. Job guys. That's nice but we need the content so we're going to come back tomorrow. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> yeah, no reason, no reason. So guys, we're literally walking, looking for a place to hang out because this is our last night in Venezia it's our last night ciao bella how do you say how are you? that's the part we need to figure out ja. we are walking they've got like so many designer stores there's Ferragamo we didn't come to Ferragamo and it was right here Montclair and then when you cross this bridge here we are off to our hotel here we have Versace got Prada and then I think if you continue walking down we've got like Louis Vuitton Hermes Jimmy Choo all the way down so it's like all designer on designer didn't really shop I think we're gonna do shopping properly when we get to Milan then we'll like try going to all the other stores and see what we can find I think I want to get myself a bag but I'll see when I get there so we are at the square and it's so beautiful in the evenings because it's like well lit what is the square called? It's called St. Marco Square. Oh, St. Marco yeah. Square. And that over there is St. Marco Basilica. Yes, that one I got. That one over there is the Basilica. So, yeah. And like you have people playing with these blue things. I don't know what they are. You throw them like in the air. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, I think Tuesday, it's our last day in Venice, we leave today and as I mentioned yesterday we would go back this morning for the gondola ride so that Tandy and I could get content so I've just worn this again but I'm quickly going to change into my travel outfit which is just a pair of um, tights and a crop um sort of like sporty bra crop thing i'll show you guys and then i'm just gonna put that um with sneakers because i don't think i'm gonna be traveling with sandals pulling suitcases so i've basically packed everything i've just left my one suitcase out i'm just gonna put this in when we come back and then close it up and then we'll head down so we're just quickly going to have breakfast now it's about um 7 40 so we're just uh, 7 30 Five, sorry so we're just gonna quickly have breakfast go down try catch a an early gondola which is gonna take us 30 minutes get our content come back and then yeah we are heading to Milan so this part of the vlog is almost coming to an end but we'll end that a little later so yeah that's what we're basically gonna do hopefully we get nice content guys because I feel like you cannot come all the way to Venice and not even get like a nice photo so yeah hopefully because it's going to be the, just the two of us we get to get nice pictures so let's quickly go to break yeah, so we are back in the gondola and the time is so much earlier 
So this is the view. It's so hot already. Like it's crazy. So we just made it to Milan. It's currently almost six. It's um, five forty. Um, the strip was kind of long. I expected it to be shorter than it actually was, but it was long. I wanted to vlog in the morning as we left, but as soon as we got to the um, water taxi station in Venice, my lens wouldn't open up and I was struggling to open it up. I don't know if something got stuck. So literally I managed to get some bureau on my phone that obviously you guys will get to see. Um, but yeah, um, I didn't get to vlog much and then finally when we got here I was just like you know what I'm just gonna try force this thing and if I break it I break it if not then yeah so and it did open but yeah we just got into our hotel I'm just gonna do a quick hotel tour so we are staying at the same hotel group that we did and when we were in Rome so it's called Star Hotels it's kind of cute but um, yeah it's very hot today and I'm officially getting sick Tandy has made me sick so yeah, I just thought I'd start on here. I'll show you. And then these sh uh, biker shorts are from Cotton On. And this is from Cotton On as well. So yeah, my makeup is a disaster. I'm gonna need to shower. But yeah, let's get into it. So as we walk in, we walk into the door. We have a little tea station, which obviously has a mini bar at the bottom. And then we've got some snacks over there. As we walk in, it's kind of small. The room is quite big, but in terms of everything else, it's very small. And then we just have the bathroom. I really like the fact that it's got like proper lighting in here. And then also, we know that we love these mirrors over here. Like these help a lot, especially if you use like lashes and stuff. They really, really, really do help. And then it's just like this old vintage style um, bathroom. We have a bidet again toilet and then the shower i noticed is quite smaller compared to all the showers we had and then it's kind of like a thing to have a um bath shower here instead of having just a shower and then as we head out to this side i think this is one of those doors that lead into another room i would like to think me not open it but yeah we have then a full-length mirror you guys can see my outfit this is all our luggage then the nicer thing here as well is that we've got a lot of mirrors so we've got another one here Tandy and I don't have to bother each other when we're getting ready and somebody can use this to do their makeup we've got some cupboard space in case we decide to use it and here they've put like one gown and one pair of sandals I like stealing these sandals so gonna have to ask them for another pair and then this is the bed quite big hasn't been divided because Tandy and I are sisters so we can share and then they just have like a picture frame there we have Miss Gama who made me sick child child someone gave me this yeah it's like very painful my throat 
and then just to show you guys the view yo you can't even see with all the lighting the view is of the train station so we got off there and just walked across so yeah we might go there just to shop around and see what's there but yeah we're just gonna quickly shower and then see what we can do i just think i need to drink like maybe a mint lemon or something for my throat because it's really really burning or um I think I'm gonna take a shot of gin as you guys can see my makeup is just a disaster but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed the other two vlogs we're gonna try and vlog as much as we can because this is finally the last leg of the trip kind of bittersweet because at the same time i'm tired but at the same time we've been having so much fun so yeah, there's no shedding when I, oh yes there's definitely no load shedding so <laughs> that's one thing that i'm not looking forward to but yeah see you guys later hey guys so just got showered and now we are off to the train station just to shop around and maybe get some food we also want to get some water so i'm just wearing this um these green pants that are from dream apparel and then i paid them with this crop from H&M you can see how tired I am I don't even want to wear a bra and then um yeah no makeup because it's already almost seven so yeah we're just gonna quickly do that and I also want to just grab some water because this flu is showing me flames and I'm very thirsty so I just think I need to keep mm, hydrated yeah so you're gonna walk to the train station for me huh? yeah I can yeah. <laughs> But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm just gonna quickly pack a bag and we'll go. Guys, like, don't come and eat too much. Wear all your tight clothes at the beginning of your vacation. <coughs> because as you get to the end, clothes don't fit no more. But yeah. So this is what the outside of our hotel looks like. Let's get to the train. It's quite dark. But we're matching colors. I can't even see what the light looks like. How cool. So, what is this? Is this the place I want to go to? I don't know. I think so. But it's nice. I mean, it's nice being to me. It's still worth it. It's still mm -hmm. nice. Then doing no shitting. Yeah. Um, this is the lobby. This is what it looks like. <laughs> actually 7 30 and the sun is still out shining bright like a diamond mm -hmm. there's a train station there that's where we came from and there's a stop so why don't you walk here So we just found some Olaplex products which we're getting because they turn out to be so much cheaper here than when you get them in South Africa. They around about 459 for one which is 600 in South Africa so I've decided to get the whole range and I'm super excited to try this out when I get home. Guys we're back from the shop so I decided we decided to have McDonald's today. So I'm having a Grand Crispy McBacon. It's a burger we don't have in South Africa. So it's got bacon, cheese, and then I think it's got the sauce that they put on a Big Mac. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really look, it looked nicer on the screen, but we're gonna try it out. Mm. But one thing for sure is that their fries are not nice and the Coke is tasteless. This so that's not like nice. Morning guys, welcome back. So. I've literally woken up feeling sick today. Not sure. If, well, you can obviously hear it from my voice. I'm struggling to speak. Um, so my throat is very painful. I'm just gonna try go down and have like a little bit of cereal just so that I can have some energy. Um, and maybe a cup of tea just to try 
like burn my throat a bit to make it feel better but yeah I've, um, I've got the flu I struggled to sleep last night but yeah we only have two days in Milan so I'm not really gonna make it go to waste I'm gonna try my best so I kind of have 15 minutes to just have something quick and then I'm gonna come back up and shower so just thought I'd update you guys start off the vlog here I know it don't look great but I literally just jumped out of the shower and yeah my face is super swollen which I'll vlog when I come back hey guys so I'm still feeling super super sick so I've decided to go with no makeup no clip-ins for today and I'm just putting on my jewelry so I'm wearing these earrings that I got from mango and they were 13 euros um, oopsie I just lost I just lost the stopper but yeah I want to go see the Diomo di Milano I think that's how you say it it's one of like the ma most famous cathedrals here in Milan so we're gonna do that then I think we're just gonna go shop a little bit so I've just decided no makeup because my nose is super runny and it's super hot so this is gonna be me this is what I'm wearing guys our room is messy you know I always watch people when they travel and I'm like why is your room so messy I totally understand now but this is my outfit I decided to go with black because I noticed a lot of people when they take photos at that cathedral it's usually like um, just either black or white or nudes yeah you can pause this is Tandy guys she's shooting content she's making me work when I'm sick and she's the one that made me sick but y'all guys I'm also dealer. dying. <coughs> yeah, yeah, there's something. Yeah, I don't know if it's a flu or. Um. <laughs> don't joke like that, man. But I think I want to get like one of those um, home tests just to make sure because I'm supposed to be traveling for work and I don't want to put people's lives at risk. So, yeah, if that's the case, that would mean that I have to go home. But guys, my shoes are so dirty like Rome I had washed these before we came here and then I wore them for one day and this is what they look like now but anyways let us get going and help Tandy with her content and then get going hey guys so done helping Tandy with her content now just sitting by the hotel lobby and we are just getting directions of how to get to Duomo di Milano which is the famous cathedral in Milan and then apparently we can shop there as well so that's what we're gonna do to look for my mom's bag so yeah um I opted still not to go with makeup and like as you guys can see it is so hot it's almost three right now but it's burning it's burning so let's go this literally our hotel is like right there and then that's where the train station is that we're walking to like the air is so thick it is so annoying I just can't do this anymore just can't do this so this is the train station that we got off at yesterday so it's Milan Central or Milano Centrale because we're trying to learn some Italian so we're gonna take the yellow line and then it'll take us to Duomo Hopefully we don't get lost because we've been getting lost here. <laughs> but guys, look at the sun. It's crazy.
it's so pretty. Oh my word. But so full as well. Wow. Oh my gosh, this was like the one thing I wanted to see in Milan. And I'm so excited. Yay! Something ticked off my bucket list. So we've just taken our photo and we also got some pictures with like the pigeons eating some popcorn out of our hands which is super cool. I'll like try to paste one on here to show you guys. But I'm super super happy I got to see this. It's like so beautiful guys. It's so packed. And it's so hot. Oh my gosh. We tried to actually just put our feet on the ground and it is blazing hot. Like, yo, I'm sure you can't even see me. But yeah. So, we just wanna go shopping now. Apparently there's like really really nice shops in here where we can like shop, designer as you guys can see there's Saint Laurent over there they've got Longchamp, Rolex, Chanel everything that you need Shante, and it's got like a range of stores from Gucci, Bulgari, Cartier, Tom Ford, Chanel, Lancome. So Tanya and I are going to try and look for our perfume and see if we can find it. Which I doubt it because it seems like stores here are more like big stuff. Okay, so let's look upstairs. I think these look very pretty. These over here. Which ones did you want? The small ones? I want to see the ones with the diamond, right? Yeah. But the plain gold. Oh, these ones here. Mm. Okay. Let's come down. shopping all day it's currently 6 30 just got into Zara I'm just gonna shop a little bit and see what they have so yeah guys do you remember how I searched high and low for these shoes in South Africa and I finally found my five and a half in Europe guys anything is possible in Europe okay <laughs> Like, I've been through the most. We've been I've going been around. through the most for these shoes. So, super happy now. I have a pair. So many, and we do not have. So, I'm so happy. I ended up getting the all white one. So, yeah, so I'm super happy.
are back home now we just got back and it's like quarter past nine and because this flu just keeps getting worse i don't know if you guys can see like i'm really swollen on one side of my face we decided to get an antigen covid test just to be sure because i'm supposed to be traveling and interacting with people from work and i don't want to get there and then put their lives at risk and their families so we got this i washed my hands do you want to wash your hands because tandy's low-key gonna help me so i don't know how to do it but here it is so in there you've got a test device test tip extraction solution one sterile swab a tube stand and a package insert self test okay so i don't know what that is for these i'm guessing are the directions it's, 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 in english, though. Oh, no. it's made in china so it should be in english then they have this which is the solution for the inside uh -huh. and then it's the self test over there and then there is the oh who's gonna put the swab up my nose me okay what does it say i'm looking for the english side okay guys oh, no, no. one specimen collection Oh Wash hands with soap and anything that I as much secretion, as much secretion as possible. What do you mean? I have to get as much mucus as possible. You are saying that because you just want to <laughs> dump it on my nose. You just want to dig inside my nose. As much secretion as possible. Do not touch the swabbed head. Insert the sterile swab into the one nostril. Make sure the entire tip of the swab is in your nostril. Roll the swab five times. Five times. So one, two, three, three four, five. five and, two, and, and then and to ensure that both mucus and cells are collected. Repeat this process for the other nostril to ensure that an adequate specimen is collected from both nasal cavities. So you have to collect from both? Yeah. The specimen uh. should be tested as soon as possible after collection. Allow the test um, devices to collect. Mm -hmm. Open the extraction solution. Collect the Specimen referred to collection. Best collection. Insert the swab of collected specimen into the extraction tube filled with extraction solution. Roll the swabs five times while pressing the head against the bottom and side of the extraction tube. Remove the swab while squeezing the sides of the tube to extract the liquid from the swab. So you gotta close it and then. But I have to make sure that I break it. Huh? What is this? Is this the one going in your nose? Yes. This part goes in my nose and then you break this part to put it in here and then you close it and then I think you have to... I don't know. No? Well, it's, I don't think it stays in there. It does because then you take this and you drop. You see this part? You dig it and then only after you drop it into the this thing. This one. So five times, five times, put on the tube tip. Put the tube tip. That one. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so if it's it's positive, if it's two lines, and then it's negative, it's if it's a C, if the line is on C, and then it's invalid if the line is on T. Yeah. All right. <coughs> wash your hands, please. I did wash them. What so? Yeah. No, you didn't. You yeah, lied. I did. <laughs> My feet hurt, Chade. Ah, ah, ah. Mm -hmm. So you know what you're doing. Yeah, don't move. <sighs> Remember not to touch it. Which so side? Open. Wait. Yeah, this side. Yeah. So sit down. Almost for the seat. Two, 
I just supposed to do both. You must do it. Shake it. <sighs> that was so ticklish. Okay, so. Is that it? Yeah. Was that long enough? Yep. Yeah. Don't hold up there. No, it just squeezes. What are you screaming for? Says read after 15 minutes. After 15 minutes? Yeah. This is what it currently looks like. I guess I'll come back in 15 minutes, guys, because I can't sit here and stand and look at it. Oh my god. Okay, guys, apparently I don't have COVID. Just gonna give it another 15 more minutes just to be sure. But I doubt it. So it's just a flu. It's just a flu. So we're at the Nike store getting my first pair of Air Jordans, which are these here. And he's getting these ones here. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is our last school day in Milan. I was about to say Rome. Um, it's still very hot. I still have a few. I tried to put on makeup, which was the biggest mistake ever because I'm dying right now. We're just getting a couple of things from the stores. Just got some Nikes. I'm gonna show you guys when we arrive. I don't know how we're packing all the stuff, but you guys, look at how cute this girl looks. Like. You look so nice when you're 10, dear. Mm -hmm. You look beautiful. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful when you're burnt. <laughs> when I'm toasty. Toast. Yes, you're very toasty. Uh -huh. Good job, guys. I think I should, I should start wearing self tanner when I'm home. Yeah, wow. it looks very nice on you. It does. Mm -hmm. But you're red now. So, yeah, we're just heading back to the hotel. And then, oh, you bought your stuff. Mm. We're going back to Duomo today. Just to shop a bit. My sister's here wants the Hermes sandals. So I'm gonna look for that. Um, but yeah, if you're here, you're definitely gonna do a lot of walking. And I would definitely suggest that you don't have makeup on. You can do the text in the shop. Why are all these other shops using us? Yeah. Hey guys, 
so we just went back to the hotel and I changed, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'd actually show you guys the outfit I was wearing. So I went back and changed because it was too hot. And now I'm wearing like a Zara bodysuit with a skirt, which I'll show you guys when we get back properly. So we're back at Duomo. The cathedral that we're at yesterday, guys. I don't know if you can see my face is so puffy. Nothing is cute right now. But yeah, we're here to do more shopping. And it's like very, very, very hot. So yeah, back at the cathedral. As you guys can see. And it's like so hot, yeah? Like crazy, crazy, crazy hot. And then I got this cute little Nike fanny pack. I went to Nike. And it was about. 13 14 euro so it's managed to fit like everything I need at least that way I don't have like a bag she see me but you guys I just you and looking inside because it's so hot you can't even see me I can't even see you it's Helen here it's hurrah <laughs> guys i actually just realized that i didn't show you guys both my outfits from today so this is one of the outfits that i changed into after we went to the um where did we go we actually went to one of the nike stores where i got some shoes i'm gonna show you guys and that's where i purchased this fanny pack as well it's very nice i ended up using it very comfortable i also love the neutral color and then i wore the skirt that i got from sheen just with the zara bodysuit and then I ended up wearing my shades because my eyes were very irritated. And yeah, my Air Force Ones are done for. Don't even want to show you guys because they look disgusting. But yeah, another thing as well, I wore these earrings that I got from Mango because all my earrings that I got from Sheen are rusted. So basically I have to throw all of that jewelry out. Um, I'm super, super bloated. Yo, it's like so bad. But yeah, um, my sister's gone to the shops with the other girls I was going to go with. But I'm feeling super, super sick. Um, I just need to rest a little bit. And then when Tandy comes back, we actually just realized that we didn't take any photos today. I think I'd love to get a picture in this as well. I don't know if it's cute or not cute enough for the gram. But yeah, one thing I noticed in Milan is that they wear very just like, um, what do you call it? what can i say it's not they don't really wear a lot of like print clothing it's very just like plain and more of your neutrals your whites your blacks that's what most people wear here so it's not really like color whereas in venice and rome a lot more people are wearing color but yeah i'm super excited about the shoes that i got the only struggle now is how tandy and i are going to pack them but i got my first pair of jordans which i'm super super excited for i'll also show you guys the stuff I got from Sephora and Mango, as you guys can see, like, this is all the new stuff we got. We struggled to find a bag from my mom, which we are supposed to do, but yeah, I will vlog that for you guys quickly. I just need to use the bathroom. <laughs> hey guys, so, we are off to our final dinner for this Italy trip, so this vlog is about to come to an end. We leave tomorrow, um, so yeah, looking forward to eating our last italian meal we better make it very italian today guys hey these two they're so drunk they can't even hear me but anyways they were mixing such like heavy heavy drinks just for the two of them so i changed back into my dress this is also from sheen and as i mentioned i'll actually film a haul for you guys when i get back to Joburg. um to just show you like all the items that i purchased and everything that i wore during this trip so yeah looking forward to having some dinner actually the wind is not playing nice with my eyes my eyes are being very sensitive like every time i step out they just start like tearing as you can see on this side but i guess i have to get used to it the really nice thing here is that people don't look at you like you're crazy when you vlog even though they do it's just like you know what i'm most probably never gonna see you again so i don't care so yeah, check you guys when we get to dinner.
not Tandy and Busso drinking and then making us get lost and taking us to the other side of town guys and I was like there's no ways we walk from this far to a restaurant and we get here and I'm like did you guys check the WhatsApp location and they put a, a, a thingy location of their own onto Google Maps <laughs> and now we have to walk back to where we're coming from. I can't believe the snow ways. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to walk. No. There's no uh, what kind of a pharmacist are you, Ganti? I'm sorry. Because we are pools, Alana, and look, they're still drinking to make matters worse. <laughs> Nia Dika, honestly, Nia Dika. Some of us are tired. We're supposed to pack. Tell us about it. Yo, we also have to pack, eh? And but this is what you do, what this is how doing. you behave in the streets of Milan. Yeah, this is how we're celebrating the Guys, last night. Guys, that time, it's, it's half past eight. eight. It's the last night. It's half past eight. <laughs> it's literally it's half past eight. We're supposed to be Milan. eating by now. I'm sure everybody's ordered because they've been there since eight. That's true. They're like, where are you guys? I'm sure. You better Bye. call them. Look at how she's concerned about vlogging instead of calling to tell them that we're late. <laughs> Nonsense. So, this is the train station with a view from afar. You enter down there. I don't know what this Apple thing is here for. And then our hotel is somewhere that side. There. Good morning guys and today is finally our last day in Europe um, my sister's already left so she left earlier because she's going back to Johannesburg and I'm heading off to Cape Verde for a work trip so yeah we've gone our separate ways I already miss her so much I feel like this was I'm gonna try not to be emotional <sighs> okay I'm gonna try this again but yeah, my sister's just left and um, she actually called me when she was about to board the plane. I think they should be departing at 9.45. It's currently 9.17. Uh, so I'm heading off to the airport with um, the um, host and one of the girls that remain behind. Um, and I will be flying to Cape Verde via Portugal. So yeah, I at least managed to get a few hours of rest. So I just want to quickly head down and have some cereal. She left her ring behind, so I'm gonna wear this for the rest of my trip. Just so that if I miss her, you know, she's right close to me. But yeah, um, I don't know guys, I'm so close to my sister and like, I get very attached to people. So like, the end of this trip is kind of a little sad because I've had so much fun with everyone. Um, so yeah, now it's just back to like the regular routine and... Yeah, I'm super grateful that I had the opportunity to, you know, travel, got to see three different cities in Italy. It's always been my dream, even though my sister and I got sick. I was actually laughing at the fact that we both got sick together. But I guess that was the fun part about it. You know, we could both take care of each other. So yeah, just pray that she gets home safe. And same for me as well. So yeah guys, I just want to tell you that I was all packed. Let me, I'm just wearing like an all black outfit, nothing major. Look at the damage that we did. So Tandy managed to pack most of our shoes in her luggage. Um, she had bought an extra bag. So this is all the shopping we did. I'll kind of show you guys what we got when we get home. But we got things from Mango, Adidas, um, uh, and Nike. Yeah. And then I've just packed everything. So this is my backpack. Those are my two phones. I actually can't find my scissors. So I need to ask at reception. And then my Jordan boxes. I would have loved to take them. But I can't. So these are my two suitcases. And I am ready to go. Just going to quickly have breakfast. Since we leave. And then pay for the city tax. And yeah. Let us get going.
So I'm at the airport. I've been here for a couple of hours. But finally, going to get this tax refund thing sorted out by customs. So, Not me being in a Tesla because I missed my flight. This is a whole story time when I get to my hotel room, I'll tell you guys. But at least I get to experience a Tesla. Oh my word. This is so cool. He had to leave his phone in here, otherwise the alarm was going to go off. It's quite a nice car. I like the fact that the ceiling... Hey guys, so I'm currently blocked in my one ear, like fully, and a little blocked in this ear. I don't know what happened with the pressure change when we were on our flight to Portugal. So I'm currently stuck in Portugal, guys. I should have been on my way to Cape Verde and almost there by now, but because um tap airlines was delayed from milan to lisbon i missed my connecting flight um so i will only fly in the morning so it's currently my apple watch even died i think it's currently 23 26 which makes it 26 minutes past midnight in south africa um, so I'm very tired. I'm hungry. I haven't had a proper meal today <coughs> Today's just been Hectic like it's just not been my day um, And I just don't feel great to be honest um, It started off with me being at the airport I just felt a little claustrophobic and like I just felt like I was alone because I kind of was like the only black person amongst so many white people even in like my plane or like coming here it was just so and like I was getting so many stares and like everybody was looking at me and then when I went to the lounge like they were just staring at me with that like what are you doing here or you don't deserve to be here I know like sometimes we always say like own your space but like when you're the only one there it just kind of makes it difficult for you so i just had a very difficult day which made it even more difficult for me to vlog i actually don't even know if i'm speaking loud enough because i cannot hear um so it made it difficult for me to vlog because i was just getting stares and to make matters worse i'm not feeling well so i was that sick black girl that was just coughing and sniffling in front of everyone so i'm currently stuck in portugal lisbon because i missed my connecting flight um and it took forever for me to even get like an uber i don't even know where my bags are at the moment the only thing i have is what what i have on me so i'm gonna remove my underwear wash it and i'm gonna try like wash the underarms off my top because i know the whole thing's not gonna get dry and then i'm basically going to wear the same thing tomorrow um, the only thing I have on me is my backpack, my laptop, and for some reason Abigail warned me to say I should at least have a carry-on luggage, but I couldn't do that because we were traveling like different cities in Italy, so I basically couldn't do that because I was going to have too many bags. So I went and I asked if um, I should try if I have my bags, and they said no, if I'm flying tap on tap then it will be fine my bags will make it to wherever i'm going so i'm just gonna be early at the airport and just find out like if my bags will will actually make it oh that yawn kind of helped a little bit so i need to pray that i yawn again 
but it's painful i'm still like deaf but yeah um yeah i'm just gonna do a quick room tour i'm very tired i'm also hungry okay that sound is very weird i haven't had a proper meal today but i'm not sure if their room service is actually open here but yeah i'm just like at a nearby hotel to the airport so this should be quick for me tomorrow so we enter that's the door there it's got nice flooring and then this is the bathroom um yeah, it's called NH Hotels. That's me there. And then you've got the shower, which is that over there. It's quite big. Um, basically, just gonna be spending a night here. And then this is the cupboard. Yo, my ear is so painful. Cupboard space. Um, and then when you walk in, that's the bed over there for you and then we've got like seating area that's the only thing i have to my name right now um and then another little lounge and then um i'll show you guys the outside tomorrow but yeah portugal is very pretty i think this is my next country that i would like to visit it looks very nice you won't be able to see because of the reflection but that's the outside i'll try show you guys in the morning i'll try wake up early but yeah um today is just not my day like from all the stairs and everything i was getting just didn't really make me happy so yeah just hoping tomorrow is like better and that i actually do feel better tomorrow just gonna try and make some um they don't have a kettle I was going to try and make some mint lemon, but I'll just have some currants to see and then jump into the shower and sleep. I doubt I'll even order food. But yeah, just updated you guys on today. I thought the Milan vlog was going to end smoothly, but apparently not. So yeah, have a good night, guys. Morning, guys. Same outfit, same hair. Next day, it's currently 10 past 7. I am off to the airport now. Um... My flight leaves at 9.20, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly rush there, it's about a 5-10 minute Uber ride, so I'm just going to check out, still haven't eaten, but yeah, I'll be fine just as long as I get onto the plane, I also haven't rested well enough, so you guys can see I've got like terrible eye bags, but I'm just praying that I actually make it today, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the view today, what it looks like, let's see if we can actually see anything a bit steamy oh you can open this and then open this as well oh looks very beautiful i don't know if you guys can see the apartments downstairs have balconies so i was dropped off somewhere there and then yeah i think the train or the airport is in that direction so this is the downstairs this is what it looks like so yeah